We'd now like to present uh, the two Rolleston Awards. These awards were first presented at the third international conference uh, in 1992. Uh, the National Rolleston Award is an award that we give out to an individual or organization for their outstanding contribution to harm reduction at the national level in the country in which we're hosting the Harm Reduction Conference. And on behalf of Harm Reduction International, um, we're very pleased to present the award to the Malaysian AIDS Council. As you've heard, the Malaysian AIDS Council has been at the forefront. Yes, we've been asked to invite uh, Professor Adiba and also Dr. Ilias to come up to co-present, accept the award. As you've heard, the Malaysian AIDS Council has been at the forefront of the HIV response since it was established in 19, 1992, complementing government-led initiatives by coordinating the efforts of the community and civil society partners. Harm reduction took off in 2006 with just three needle exchange piloted here in the Malaysian AIDS Council and its partner organizations. Ten years later, the project expanded to 42 sites with over 537 outreach points. A total of 194 peer work, outreach workers are currently employed by the 47 partner organizations that make up the Malaysian AIDS Council. The vast majority of these workers are people who are current or former people who use drugs. We know needle exchange programs in Malaysia are 70% funded by the government via the Ministry of Health, and the minister here has spoken very strongly about the important success of the relationship between government and community in making these programs a success. A decade of harm reduction programming, new HIV infections attributed to unsafe injecting drug use in Malaysia have dropped significantly by 15%. In the Malaysian context, harm reduction is more than just an evidence-based public health strategy. It's about promoting the lives, health, rights, and dignity of people who use drugs and people living with HIV. This great work is all thanks to the leadership of the AIDS Council and the work of its 47 partner organizations working on the ground locally. And we'd like to recognize the work of all of those organizations as part of this award. And today, as I said, it gives us great pleasure to present this award to our partners at the conference, the Malaysian AIDS Council. Thank you. There you are, Elias. Um, uh, friends and colleagues, uh, thank you very much for this honor. Actually, um, it's, it's hard to believe that it's been 10 years. So I was recalling this morning at um, a session that we had that exactly um, January 6, 2005, uh, we had a small meeting to bring together people uh, who are working in, in drugs uh, and, and people who are working in HIV for the first time. And uh, this, this meeting was facilitated by uh, Nick Crofts and we deliberated for, well, we had the meeting for a whole day, but we deliberate, deliberated for about an hour and a half whether to call ourselves the Harm Reduction Working Group because in 2005, harm reduction was a dirty word in Malaysia. And we thought that if we called ourselves a harm reduction working group, we wouldn't even get ourselves off the ground. And here we are 10 years later hosting the Harm Reduction International uh, Conference. Um, it's, it's pretty hard to believe, but uh, as, as you've heard, it wouldn't have been possible without the great support by the Malaysian government, by uh, particularly the um, unseen faces of those on the ground, the outreach workers um, and everyone else, who in the early days actually risk, as you heard, um, their own safety to provide clean needles on the ground to people in Malaysia. But this is not enough. Um, ten years on, I think we need to go the next step. Um, we still have many, many laws and policies that stop us from doing what we can um, to really make a difference um, to, to the lives of people who use drugs. So we need to seriously review the um, punitive laws and policies that we have in Malaysia and um, you know, have more rational laws that uh, support people who use drugs so that um, they can live with dignity. Thank you.